not rich kids. So uh, we try to build, uh, you know, a, a football from a newspaper. It's lots of fun and uh, it's very inspirational. Recycle factory is actually more or less to the educational side. That means that we try to teach kids how to recycle uh, everyday scrap papers. My son and I have some niece and nephews, and, and yeah, the, and they like they like the planning process really much. And once they made a the track, they would put it beside their pillow. It's right, uh, right, uh, right beside the, the, the window on uh, the bed. So they would try to watch it every every morning. Oh yeah, it's it's drawing more and more. And and I think it's it's real fun for them. It's like a huge achievement. It's quite disappointing sometimes because some of the parents they even uh, say that wow. You were asking me to spend so much time here to do that for my kids. <laughs> People uh, try to be going the, the easy way, convenient way, just like they, they, they will buy a piece of the plastic dough, you know, and uh, it's easy, just just no, no hanky panky, it's easy to play with. And they are not prepared to spend so much time to work on all these things because we have so, it's so materialized. Uh, people can get to buy many many things easily and at a low price, and then they, they forget about the value of the uh, the raw material on you know the, the natural resources. Dominant uh, product they are using wooden track, like jangers, those type of. They sell a lot, and people buy a lot, but they are expensive. But the bad thing is that if you buy more, that means that these factory up there would just cut down more trees for those very valuable uh, wooden tracks. So um, I'm kind of uh, doing the, the other way around. I would like to use some existing paper to build tracks instead, so that's an alternative. Uh, well, uh, on a, in an indirect way, I'm helping to save the trees. <laughs> <laughs>